Okay, dear students, uh, let us see what is there in this question now. The graph shows the variation of gravitational potential V of the dist with the distance R from the center of a uniform spherical planet. The radius of the planet is capital R and the shaded area is S. So my dear students, first of all, this is the graph of the potential um, with respect to the distance of the satellite from um, the center of the Earth, kind of, okay? And one thing that you can note down here is that this graph is completely negative. As I've already told you that the potential energy in the case of gravitation is always negative and it has the maximum value only at the infinite distance and it becomes zero. But positive values are not allowed throughout the domain. So positive values are not available. Everywhere there is a negative value for the potential. Why? Because gravitational forces are always attractive. They are never repulsive. But in the case of electricity or in the case of electrostatics, um, there is attractive force between negative and positive potential or uh, positive charges. There is repulsive force between the like charges. So whenever there will be repulsive force, the potential energy will become positive. So the graph will be positive. But when we talk about the attractive forces, at that time, the potential energy graph will become completely negative. So in the case of electrostatics, it is a possibility that the graph will be completely positive or the graph will be completely negative. But in the case of gravitations, the graph is always negative. It can never be positive and it is the graph that is shown here exactly no doubt about that now moving next what is the work done see there is another graph here if we continue this thing and that is the 50 percent of this and it goes like this then this is the parabolic variation here but that is not required in our question and that is why it is not given there so we are not even considering that but anyways um let us consider this thing what is the work done by the gravitational force of uh, as the point mass m is moved from the surface of the planet so this is the radius this is the surface so the potential at that point is v1 so now the body is moved from a point where the potential is v1 to another point where the potential is v2 which is at the distance of 6 hour of 6 r from the center so what is the work done so my dear students, uh, uh, I have told you in these kind of questions, first of all, the step one is find the change in potential, which is the final minus initial. So what is the final potential? It is V2. The initial potential is V1. We are not concerned with the negative value or something. We will substitute it here when the values will be given to us. We can just write V2 minus V1. This is the potential. Step number two is the potential energy. So change in potential energy is when you multiply the mass with V2 minus V1 and that we have done. So this is the change in the potential energy and they are interested in the work done. Okay, so this is the potential energy and now let us move to step number three. Now my dear students, there is a problem. Either the option will be A or the option will be B. Uh, in some of the questions, uh, IB questions, they are not they are not regarding the negative sign or something. And so they have taken only the mod values, only the positive values every time. So in this question, I would say the answer can be A or B. But according to my principles that I have, I have been teaching you, like step one, step two, step three, let us see what is the answer that we are getting. So the work done is always equal to the negative of the change in potential energy, which means it will be M into V1 minus V2. So this is our answer and so the answer should be B. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. And yes, my dear students, as you can see, the answer given is B in the mark scheme. It means that the steps that I have told you, they're absolutely correct. There is no problem about it. There's no doubt about it. This is the method in which we try to solve these questions whenever you want to find the work done in the field forces whether there's electrostatic, whether it is a, a gravitational field, this is the method that we follow. Step number one, find the potential difference. Step number two, multiply with the mass. In the case of electrostatics, we would be multiplying this thing with the charge, whether the charge is positive or negative, doesn't matter. And then the step number three is, the negative of the change in potential energy is the work done. My dear students, this is how we do this question. All the best.